Hi, I'll Lee Veris here with Phototech Tuesday. Each week I'll be posting a new video about photography, technology, art, and everything in between. And today I'll be looking at a common retouching problem with a surprisingly simple old school Photoshop solution. I am, of course, talking about cat fur lint on the dark jacket nightmare. Uh, one of the reasons to carry a lint roller with you when you go on a portrait photo shoot. Uh, we've all been there when there's no roller to be found and we have to fix it in post. So let's take a look. Okay, so uh, we had a recent photo shoot, Bobby and I, where we were photographing uh, uh, Nate Karahalis, our friend here, who is a musician, composer, and music teacher. And uh, he needed some photos uh, for promotion. And so we did a little portrait shoot Everything looks pretty good here until uh, you zoom in and you realize that Nate's cat had gotten all over his jacket. And, uh, you know, this is like one of those kind of nightmares that you think about, okay, if I'm going to go and uh, retouch this and use, you know, like, well, we could try and use the remove tool, but let's let's try the, you know, the, the spot healing tool here and you know, make a little thing like that and you know you can kind of get in there and do all this stuff and it, after a while it's you it's just crazy to try and, and do it this way uh, you'll never get through all of them so this is something that we're just gonna have to go into Photoshop for and you'll see a, a solution here that's uh, really simple and very effective and it's it, it relies on old school Photoshop filters. So, so here we are in Photoshop, and uh, if we uh, if we zoom in here to 100%, you can see yes, kind of dreadful uh, cat <laughs> cat hair all over the jacket. And uh, what is a person supposed to do here? I mean, you, you, again, the healing brush. You could go in there and start taking out individual. Uh, Let's do the spot healing brush, take out individuals, you know, uh, make an empty layer and we can take out little individual hairs here and just spend hours and hours retouching this. And no, no, that, that's crazy. Uh, we have a whole new way of doing this, or <laughs> it's actually an old way of doing this. It's very effective. I'm going to copy this layer, command or control J to jump it into a new layer. And then I'm going to run a filter. Um, and this is kind of an old school filter. It's under the noise filter, noise. And there it is, dust and scratches. So let's take a look at this. So we call this up. Dust and scratches uh, is kind of a special filter that attempts to blur out very rapid transitions um, like lint. <laughs> And it's all a matter of what's the threshold and what's the radius. So the radius determines how wide the blur is. So um, if we take the radius down and it's like one pixel, you can kind of see maybe some of these hairs are, are removed, the ones that are only one pixel in diameter. Uh, and let's, let's just increase the diameter of this and you can kind of see you, you want to go just far enough to take out all the lint without blurring too much else all right moving this over here um we found the radius of 12 that seems to eliminate all of the little lint uh, if we move the threshold up it says okay only blur when we reach uh, a left level of 33 and it, at, at 33 there's a difference between the, the surrounding and the lint 33 levels you can still see a little bit of lint here so i have to reduce the threshold and start blurring a little bit earlier than 33 levels there's 20 levels there's 18 there's 6 15 okay 15 seems like it's pretty much eliminated all the lint now the problem with this, of course, is that we're also blurring everything else. We're we're blurring the image. You know, we can't really uh, we can't really do that. And we're also we've kind of eliminated a certain level of texture in the fabric. So here's 
part one of the solution is to change the apply mode from normal in this layer to darken. So you'll notice that as soon as I do that, if I go back to normal, look at the buttons here and look at the, if we zoom in, maybe we can see a little bit more of the texture show up. So here's normal, there's darken, and you can kind of see how much more texture shows up in the fabric. Anything that's darker than the lint now will not be applied against the original image. Um, so we're seeing essentially just the lint getting filled in and the darker texture remains. All right, so that's one part of the solution. The other part is that I'm going to add a layer mask to this. I'm going to hold down the uh, Option or Alt and click on Add Layer Mask here, and I will get a black layer mask that way. Then I'm going to take a brush, and we're going to paint with white into the layer mask to reveal the smoothed out blurred portion of the jacket that we want to eliminate the lint. Okay, so I'm brushing over this and it's sort of like, you know, ironing out all the, all the lint. What's interesting about the, um, uh, the Dutch dust and scratches filter is that it does, since the transition from the jacket to the background is way over the, the 15 pixels or so that we decided was the threshold of uh, the 15 levels, it doesn't blur that edge. So we have we can still have a nice sharp edge, uh, but we are blurring enough to eliminate the texture. Now the other thing um, that you want to do is you want to be you want to fill in everywhere that there is jacket because you don't want a discrepancy of um, visible texture in the jacket against the sort of smooth texture. So there's a, you know, we can't really, you know, I can brush here and assume that I'm covering everything up. But the quick way of, of looking and identifying uh, where you have brushed in the mask is to go to your channels here. So I'm, I'm going to click over into the channels tab here and then click in the little eye well of the layer mask thumbnail, which is showing up here. And now I can see where I have brushed in the layer mask and I can make sure that there are no holes uh, and that I'm brushing over everything that I, everything in the jacket so that I have a consistent uh, texture in the jacket. And I, I don't have to, you know, brush over everything, um, but in this case, there's no lint over in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill in all this area so that I know that there's no um, holes in the mask. So this is a, is a good way to determine um, where you have brushed in the mask and where you have it. And so I know that there's lint up in here. I'm going to go ahead and brush into that area. And again, I don't have to worry about brushing over that edge because it's not, it's not being blurred over the edge. And that's not going to have any real effect on the background. Okay, so we'll finish this up. And actually, I'm not going to bother to do the whole thing here, but but this is the whole idea, right? And now when I'm ready, and I've filled in all the areas I know have this bad cat fur thing going on, now I'm going to go and turn off that eye on the layer mask thumbnail, return to my layers, and uh, now I can just turn it on and off, and you can see how magically we've just eliminated all that cat fur with very little effort really on our part. Okay. Well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hopefully this has provided some inspiration for your own creative explorations. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss another Phototech Tuesday and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.